I am capable of being chipper through and after a 12-hour uh, stream. 24-hour streams require, like, 24 hours of recovery, probably more. Uh, what does this hand do? Hmm, seems decent. It's got an infestation and a faithful suiting and a dark blast. He's doing something faster than us. Uh, I'm gonna go shock into looting here. A hey, about 24 hobos. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. Thanks for sending your fun money this way this month. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the kid, the kid, Declan, Declan really loves his, loves his owl costume. Burn, maybe? Could be, could be Titan Shift, could be Jund. We hit a Lingering Souls there, that's pretty good. Um, just gonna go ahead and fetch a basic swamp here, I think, and stick the zombie infestation. Yeah, essentially, Ginger Chief. It is essentially the game plan. And then we have a couple other dredge cards like Stinkweed Imp and stuff. Could be Mardu Pyromancer, Jund. We have a couple other dredge cards like Stinkweed Imp and such to kind of thin. What's going on, Bulletproof Pope? All right, looking like Mardu Pyromancer. Mardu Pyro is probably an okay match. For, it could theoretically be a dredge too, right? Oh, it's Hollowed One. That makes sense. That makes sense. Weaponized variants. Got it. Got it. I understand. Um, I don't actually have that many white cards in my main deck, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna discard. Go discard this, discard the Godless Shrine, make a Zombo. Dredge this guy, looking for like a blood ghast of our own here. We heal Loam. I think I actually just wanna cast the Stinkweed Imp. Yeah, I think I actually just wanna cast the Imp here. Remember, Gimp has pseudo death touch, so it just like blocks the hollowed one. Our dredges have been pretty medium so far. We hit an amalgam and a lingering souls, but nothing else eventful other than that. The owl costume actually wasn't that bad. It's not, was not that, was not that warm. All right, so, hmm, that attack. So, I can dredge loam and then loam up to four cards. So I can't quite conflag the hollowed one next turn. Probably don't want to take these hits. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna block here Because this won't have haste next turn. I think that's okay for us. I want to dredge loam here anyways. Hopefully we hit a blood guest We had another prize to Malgo, but no blood guest yet. That sucks. All right, so I'm gonna cast this life from the loam grab a basic mountain a basic Forest and a ghost quarter, I guess. Just get three untapped lands. We'll play the basic mountain so we have second red for conflagrate. I'll flash back this lingering souls and I'll pass the turn. I will be playing mismatch basics in Milwaukee. 10, 10 out of 10 will be playing mismatch basics in Milwaukee. So next turn. We can loam up to six cards in hand and con flag down this hollowed one, which would be great. And if we get to con flag this down, I might trade the Stinkweed Imp for the Flame Wave Phoenix this turn if they don't attack with this again. Hopefully this is flash. Yeah, flashback Faithful Zooting is pretty good for us. If they don't put another hollowed one into play here, we're gonna be at a very good spot. Yeah, Lingering Souls is sweet. We got a couple copies of those. Help us have a little bit more stuff to do out of the graveyard when we when we're missing other things. Like to ditch two flame wakes. That's unfortunate. I 
I, I mean, I am playing in Milwaukee in the owl costume. That was that was the point of it all. That's why. That's why we have a costume. the The stream in the costume was a stretch goal. We are ten out of ten playing Milwaukee in the costume. All right, so I kind of want to go trade trade, and then like conflag down the rest of their board here. I think that's what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna go trade trade and then like eat their board. There's a deck list on your screen. If you're on mobile, type exclamation point deck list and you'll get a deck list link. All right, so we're gonna dredge loam here. We hit a blood gas, so that's great. Um, there aren't any red sources in my bin just yet. So I could... I could cast Faithless Looting and dredge through some stuff here because I have Stinkweed Imp plus Loam in my bin. I could also just cast Loam and Loam up to five cards and like clear these two. Maybe I just clear this so I can bring back the Bloodgast and then get the Amalgams. I had a second Conflag in my bin too, so that's good for cleaning up more stuff after the fact. I definitely want to play a land this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast Loam. I'm gonna get back Foothills, Bloodstained Mire, and a Godless Shrine, I suppose. And then I think I'm leaving this Bloodgast alone because I wanna play a land this turn, but I also don't wanna discard this Faithless Looting. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and Conflag this for four. Discard these four. And I get to go ahead and put this into play, which brings this back, which brings these back. So we've got eight power of our own now. Let's see what they start with. They could go like, you know, hollowed one in to bring back some flame wakes here. If they trip flame wakes me, oh, it's a lot of blood gas. Uh, if they have a bolt, we could be in trouble here. Because Bolt would give these blood gas haste, which is scary. Their hollowed ones are now free. So if they have Bolt, untapped land, hollowed one, we could potentially die here, actually. They were actually dead to Bolt, untapped land, hollowed one. They're, they'd, they'd hit us for 15 here. So hopefully they're on a bunch of bricks. A bunch of burning inquiries and goblin lores, ideally. Going on, Nerdster. At least have a bunch of burning inquiries that they don't want to cast. Oh, there's the bolt. It's the first of the things that are scary. Because this gives all of my opponents blood gas haste now, and they have two more blood gas in their bin. So they can attack us for at least six here. Actually, we're dead to second bolt if I crack this fetch land. So maybe I don't want to do that. That's a burning inquiry. That's bold because now I get to dredge a bunch of stuff here. That's funny. I discarded all three things I dredge. So I actually made a small mistake here um, and it could actually lose us this game. Uh, if I would have waited on bringing back this blood gas with this fetch land i could have 
gotten another prized amalgam here by waiting. So I've I've missed out on having a third prized amalgam the way I sequenced my my triggers. Because blood gas is a May trigger, so I could have waited to bring my blood gas back until my opponent's second main phase, at which point I get all three of my amalgams on their end of turn. I'm pretty sure I need this to make mana, right? Yeah, if they have Bolt, I'm going to be dead either way. So let's just go ahead and be dead to Bolt. Yep, they have it. It's good beats. I mean, we're not beating a Bolt regardless there. So, like, there's no point in playing around a Bolt. All right. Axe is insane. Uh, Dark Blast is pretty bad. Grudge is decent. Golgari Brown Scale is decent. Um, Do I even bring in the Ray of Revelation? Opponent's deck often has Leyline in the board. Sometimes they have nothing, but if they have hate, it's usually Leyline, I think. Mm. Raven's Crime doesn't do much here. Infestation's fine. Blood Ghast is good. I have two Spell Bomb. That's good to know. Spell Bomb is much more beatable than Leyline. It's a pretty close game, considering we stumbled and fumbled a little bit. I don't actually know what I want to cut here. Maybe this is too many grudges. Maybe I don't need all of these for removal. I guess Conflagrate's kind of medium. I probably don't want a bunch of them. They don't have a ton of little creatures, and, like, spending a bunch of cards to kill their one fatty isn't amazing. It's probably not terrible to cut those. What about Lingering Souls for the last one? You can see that. Let's try this. Sand doesn't do anything. Sand's pretty good. We get a scry that doesn't mean anything, but the rest of the hand's decent. Let's scry that top just in case it doesn't actually shuffle. Mono does that sometimes. I think I'm going to. I believe that abrupt decay artwork exists as an RPTQ promo, but don't, but don't quote me on that. Maybe I'm supposed to get Blood Crypt here just because um, oh, we hit a Swamp. Perfect. Uh, discard Blood Gas. Discard Loam. Grudge is a good hit. Play this out. Loop this pig back into play. Like zombie infestation. I don't think they can interact with zombie infestation. I guess I saw a Hollowed One deck that had, what's it called? They had, um, I'm blanking on the name now. They had a, a, a planes, a sacred foundry for wear tear. But I feel like that's pretty unlikely. I'm probably just gonna discard my loam and this other infestation at their end of turn to get more choo -choos. I probably just want to dredge this loam. Yeah, I'm just going to dredge the loam here. We actually just, like, don't even really care about what they just did, right? Because, like, I have an Ancient Grudge in my discard pile. To go ahead and get back Verdant, Mountain, Overgrown Tomb. This Verdant gets to shoot down one of these with an Ancient Grudge, and I can discard two lands to double block the other one. Seems pretty good. So I'll discard these two lands that Loam drew for free, essentially. Double block here. If they want to spend a lightning bolt on this, this is that's fine with me. I'll crack this and get a basic forest. They're an EE in the sideboard. That's good to know. I guess engineer plus is a card they could reasonably bring in against me. 
Maybe that's reason to keep the uh, the extra infestation. Sweet, this trade here is great for us. I was expecting to get bolted there, but just just straight up trading is fantastic. Hopefully they just like have a delve threat as their follow up here. We just get to like murderous cut them and like dance on their grave. Yep. Deal. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. Grudge the slum. Oh, look, another ancient grudge. Dece. Uh, overgrown tomb. This, this. Oh, we have uh, another blood guest in there. So I'm going to murderous cut. The skirmag angler exiling this. Um... This. Actually, I actually have a lot of cards in here that are pretty good, huh? I guess I don't need that many more lands. I'm going to dredge into more of them. So I'll keep that Faithless looting in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and attack with this. You always want to attack before you play your land out, especially when you have another Blood Guest in the bin. I'm hoping to hit one of our conflagrates. Maybe I shouldn't have boarded out. Maybe I shouldn't have boarded one of them out. Yep, looting resolves. Almost certainly gonna make a zombie here. Look, we're just we're just honest here. Used soul. That's that's just a good clean honest response. One of my mods made that command. Someone asked me about some random deck yesterday, and I was just like, "Well, it's, it's probably bad. That's why people don't play it." They're like, "Yep." Yeah. Nah, I think I'd rather just save save the health. Honestly, infamous zombie. I think I'd rather just like get the tap land into play. I think that's valuable. Um, let's start by smashing. Definitely winning this race, right? I like have this Golgari Brown scale I can dredge here to gain a little bit of health to swing the race even more in my favor. I mean, like, unless you've discovered something genuinely new and broken, generally speaking, things that don't see play in modern as is don't see play because they're not particularly good. That's that's just the truth. It's okay if you like it. Like, you know, there's more to magic than just playing good decks. We play magic to have fun, but generally speaking, the things that 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 people play aren't actually good. All right, we found an Aboob finally. That's exciting. Discard these extra lands that I have. Trigger my, oh, I should have discarded the Ovari Brown Scale, right? We're gonna discard them to zombie infestation. Like, mo most decks in Modern aren't Tier 1. That's just, like, that's just a fact, right? Like, there's a bunch of decks that see play in Modern, and most of them are not Tier 1. <laughs> you could probably make an argument that Hollowed One's one of the few Tier 1 decks in Modern at this point. Well, I mean, like, and, and the Hollowed One deck isn't just, like, newly discovered, right? Like, Hollowed One is a fairly recent card. It's, like, been printed in the last year or two, right? Do I want this extra conflagrate in my deck or not? Probably not. Maybe it's better than the start finish. Nah, the start finish is pretty flexible. Maybe the murder, the murderous cut was good there too though. I think I'm happy with how I boarded. Maybe with the, both the axes, I don't need this cut. Vengeful Pharaoh. Is it though? I don't, I don't really want to take hits from their big things. Like most of the time we're like keeping their board pretty clean, right? I feel like I'm keeping their board pretty clean most of the time. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit a bit.
Seems okay. It's a little slow, but we have turned to Ancient Grudge to clean up a, a fast hollowed one. If they have a fast delve threat, we have zombie infestation to kind of gum the board a little bit. So that's nice. We'll be fetching a blood crypt here with this. This is the first match with zombie loam. Your game, game three, match one currently. On the draw here against black, red, hollowed one. I mean, you could also argue again, like Lantern, like again, formats do do have subtle changes. Like Lantern was less popular and arguably worse when people started playing more Jund and Blood Braid Elves and Jaces like they are now too. So like Lantern hitting critical mass involved, again, a new card where of invention is not that old of a card. So like when people talk about, you know, oh, we just missed all these things. Like, well, we didn't really miss them. Like, they were missing key cards. Like, yes, some of the key cards are older cards, but there are a number of key cards in them that are fairly, fairly recent printings. I mean, I literally have Ancient Grudge in my hand. I think Double Dark Blasting is narrow. I think I'd rather just have other cards in my deck. All right, we gonna make some zombies, chat. I'm gonna bin this grudge in the start finish too. And if they wanna bolt one of these zombies, I'm just gonna make a third with my last two cards. It's cute that you think I want any of the cards in my hand. Yeah, I get you. Watch them Nihil spell on me and we'll just like weep silently. Please don't Nihil spell on me. Please don't Nihil spell on me. It's a con flag. That's pretty good for us. All right, so life from the loam, get back blood crypt, get back swamp, get back bloodstained mire. Play this Blood Crypt out. Return my Blood Gas to play. Uh, I think I just want to play defense here. I think I'm in a good enough spot that, like, I want to just not die by mistake here. So I'm going to leave my zombies back to block this Flame Blade head up. Hey, Zesty Brosif with the brand new Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Welcome. As always, if you enjoy what I do here, subscriptions are the best way you can support it. So it's looking like we're in a pretty good spot here. Do I want to make a zombie? I don't think so. I'm just gonna go ahead and dredge this loam. We found a Naboob. That's pretty good. Loam. I actually haven't triggered a Naboob yet. So we're gonna conflagrate one, two. I guess I'll just send the last point upstairs. Nah, I'm gonna hold the card. I'm gonna hold the card. Yep, my zombie's dead. So let's put them to eight. We're in a pretty good spot here. We've got uh, we've got start finish in the bin to kill a delve creature. We've got ancient grudge to deal with a deal with a hollowed one. Tireless tracker is fairly recent too. Tireless Tracker is a pseudo-recent addition to the format, too. Hopefully this is a flashback Faithless Looting. Deal. Yeah, like, like I said, if we don't get, like, if they don't, if they don't hit Graveyard Heat here, we should just run them out of this game. In fact, if we hit our second Conflagrate and our Dredge on the slow, they just die this turn.
So I could cast my Naboob, or I could just pass the turn. I'm just going to pass the turn. Pass the turn. Get some zombie infestation going on here. There were the, let's call them the investigative magic players on Reddit. They concluded that, what's it called? That we needed to ban um, Gurmag Angler out of, out of, Gr out of Grixis, Grixis Delver in Legacy. Like that, that was the card. That was the card that, made, that was offensive in that deck. All right, well, we beat the best deck in the format. That make that makes this the best deck in the format, right? That's how that's how that works. Once we beat them, we take their crown. And this is now the best deck in modern until someone else beats us. Humans is fine. Humans is a good deck to have be one of the best decks in the format. I think I find the hollowed one deck kind of offensive. I find the mechanics in it kind of obnoxious. Um, but humans as one of the best decks in modern, I think is great. It's, it's a fair, aggressive deck that wins in a straightforward way and has powerful, disruptive elements that keep combo decks like Storm, that decks that are truly obnoxious in check. Is humans similar to infinity any in any way? It's humans is a I, I never hit I'm like waiting here like why isn't my match popping? And I realized I hadn't hit play match. I was just like where's where's the thing? I was like okay all right. Uh, humans is a more honest deck than affinity. Humans humans is a more honest deck than affinity. Yeah the uh, the hollowed one deck to me feels a lot of ways it, kind of an unfair aggro deck in similar ways that. Affinity is an unfair aggro deck, except there aren't singleton hate cards that just hose hollowed one. Whereas like affinity, you could have like, you have like Kataki and you have like these other things that are very good against it. Can I keep this with a scry on the play? Seems like really good with a second land. I'm gonna keep it with a scry on the play. I'm gonna bottom that and cross my fingers. I guess I need explicitly a black source, huh? If we draw a colorless land, I could just discard a loam. But if we get a black source, this hand's pretty decent. Uh, red green Eldrazi looks like. Tilt. I think this hand was worth the risk to reward. Maybe this deck just mulligans well. These uh, these dredge style decks tend to mulligan well, so maybe this hand wasn't worth the risk. The good news is if we brick and die here, we're not going to give away a lot of information. I mean, cards like Burning Inquiry are like rancid, rancid gameplay and design by and large. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede here and not give my opponent information about what we're playing. They're like setting up for a reality smasher here very soon. We know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna draw that ghost quarter. I'm not sure I'm gonna show them what we're doing. This is eventual Pharaoh matchup. It is not a Dark Blaster Raven's Crime matchup. It's definitely a Lightning Axe matchup. Um. I think I want the Abrupt Decays, not because they meaningfully kill most of my opponent's things, but because I'm expecting them to have, what's it called, post board. I'm expecting them to have Graveyard Hate. Although I guess, I guess I'm only gonna bring in one. If they're not, if they weren't watching the stream, they shouldn't know what we're doing and they might not have their Graveyard Hate. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, the Hollowed One deck, the Hollowed One deck can just play through the Graveyard Hate. They just, like, cast their 4-4 four four on turn 1 or cast their 4-4 four four on turn 2 and just, like, play play Lightning Bolts and stuff. You should get Twitch Prime! Twitch Prime gets rid of adverts. Or Twitch Turbo, whatever they call it. Lots of different ways to not get adverts. 
subscribe to the channel you won't get adverts on this channel asterisk <laughs> Everyone's having a good Monday, kicking off with this loam deck. Kept a loose, loose one on the play for our first uh, first game of the second match. We beat Hollowed one in the first round. The fact that Flameblade Adept has Menace is so obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. Modern is beating you. The key to playing Modern is you can't care about the results. If you care about the results of your matches, you're gonna be sad. You gotta, you gotta just shake it off. You gotta just, just play the format for funsies. This hand has lands and spells, but we actually can't cast this spell and the rest of the hand doesn't do much. So I'm gonna mulligan again here. This hand is not particularly good, but I'm gonna keep it. I do not need, need, I do not need more naboobs. One naboob is enough naboob. I, I'm of the opinion that Street Wraith shouldn't be a modern legal card just because it's it's just an offensive card design. Just like the type of gameplay that Street Wraith enables is just like it's never it's never good. Like that type of effect, it's it's only ever going to be used for dishonest things. Yes, I agree with Andrew, and that's why I find I find Hollowed One. Hollowed One being one of the better decks in Modern is one of the things that's obnoxious about Modern. There's a lot of things that I like about Modern, but a deck like Hollowed One being one of the better decks in the format is something I find obnoxious. Well, turn two, Thought Not Seer feels really bad because this, this, this Stinkweed Imp was going to be great. Because Stinkweed Imp is actually excellent against these Eldrazi decks because it gets to block and death touch them down effectively. But when they exile it, we do not get to do that. Do I want to dredge this loam? I don't really want to cast this loam, so I'm probably not going to dredge it. Just looking for actual spells here. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. I'm just pretty dead here. Let's mulligan to five, and yeah, not going to find anything for a very long time. For those of you that are new to the stream, that's going to feel like an early concession. What I just mentioned there, you can't be tied to your results. I play magic to have fun, so when we hit hit a pretty bad beat, or we're playing a matchup that's pretty difficult, we just don't play it on this stream. I find those frustrating, and if you're frustrated while playing Magic, you should be doing anything else. Magic Magic is a game that even when you're winning a bunch, you're not making that much money, so you should always make sure you're having fun while you're playing. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Curtia. I would be fine with all those changes. You should just play friendly leagues. You play friendly leagues, like if you if you bat five hundred playing friendly leagues, you essentially break even or you lose very little. It's your opinion on Mox Amber? It's either unplayable or completely cracked in half. And there's probably not a lot of middle ground. Gosh, this hand is so good with a mountain or a black. I'm gonna keep it. We're on the draw. At the very least, I can discard loam to itself on two. Horizon Canopy, Oath of Nissa, Cobra Sahili. Cobra Sahili? Cobra Sahili or some kind of brew. Perfect. Look at that. Just, just like we drew it up, chat. So this is a Blood Crypt. It's both the colors I wanted for Christmas. So the Naboobs come back to my hand for free, but I want to get Bloodgast into play next turn, so I'm going to discard that. I guess you could maybe argue I could bin the Loam just because I want to start dredging it. But I wouldn't mind taking another draw step if we had another spell. Will Snipe for food with 18 month tier one subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I do appreciate the continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
We do have one Dark Blast in my main deck, so probably going to be binning these four to a purple orange is 23 thank you for the twitch prime sub because we're sending your fun money this way this month you know there's a lot of a lot of different people you could send that to so i appreciate you choosing to send it here i mean like what it like the legacy metagame on Magic Online is a lot like if cost wasn't an option because basically legacy is expensive enough online that most people don't play it casually, which causes, you know, the the legacy is fun feeling that you get in a lot of local game stores to not exist on Magic Online just because like the decks, a lot of those decks are bad that people play at local game stores. So like the, meta, the online metagame is very focused in terms of like Grixis Delver and four color control. Sure. Come at me, bro. I was like, that that's a real bad attack. What are you doing? That's that would be that would be a big boo-boo opponent. Alright, get mine the boobs back here. Yep. Always yes. Always yield. Would love to dredge my lerm. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. If you abuse me, honey, you lose me. Am I casting this murderous gun? I should have figured that out before I, I did that. Huh. I have to lose my loam if I cast my murderous cut. But I get to keep this Dark Blast, and I kind of need to kill this Sigarda. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's get let's get it let's get aggro, chat. Let's. I think we are in an aggro deck in this matchup, so let's do that. Let's smush. I'm gonna like smush for six here, and I'm gonna put four more power into play in a second. So, uh, in, in the words of a great modern player, yeah. Oh, huh. That's an interesting line. Uh, are we dead? Maybe. They already played a land, so we shouldn't be dead. I hate questions like that. Hate Dalamar, dear. Like... That questions like that fail to understand the concept of that like people play decks in modern for like more reasons than just like their their power level. Discard these two. Yeah, I should have. I didn't think about. I didn't think about using the. Uh, I gen genuinely didn't think about using the lo the infestation before casting the murderous cut. This did not, did not cross my mind. Definitely should have though. So I do this, they go block, block, and then we get killed by the combo next turn. I miss any points of damage at any point this game. I'm going to go back and watch the tape. Whenever, whenever I, whenever I lose a game with my opponent at one health, I'm always like, was he had to have done something yes miss don't have it don't have it don't kill me i want to live i want to live no we are dead i just wanted to live i just wanted to live i thought they banned splinter twin chat i thought splinter twin was banned i thought splinter twin was banned that's not fair all right, board that in, board lightning axe in, cut Raven's Crime, Dark Blast is excellent. Hey, Cone, losing by one is such a terrible feeling. I agree. A third of the year, four month three subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I do appreciate it. All right. Um, this actually probably isn't a Lingering Souls matchup, right? I don't think, I don't think this is about the slow grind. I think it's about the run them down. I think it's about the run them down feelings. Yeah, let's do it. 
Gotta side in the gut shot, right? Just get him. Get him. Um, mm, sure. Infestation, double Naboob. Hard to pass up. Boys, sing me a song, opponent. Ooh, ooh, look at my naboobies. Look at how many naboobs we have. No, the copies are the base creature. Otherwise, I would have held the Dark Blast ABC magic. I'm dredging the stinkweed imp. The only thing better than dredging into a loam is drawing exactly a red store, so I'm more likely to dredge into a loam. Perfect. Perfect. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Put away the naboobs, Jeff. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me what to do. Should tell me what to do with myself. Munda boobs are beautiful. You play that big, beautiful voice. Let it sing. Oh no. Oh no, are we dead? We might be dead, Jet. Interesting that they played the voice before playing the Oath of Nyssa. Frag Datterson. Come at me, Lotus Cobra. Whoa, the Lotus Cobra's coming at me. Get my block on here. Yep. I'm gonna dredge this low. We're gonna return my. Oh, I hit a fourth. Did I hit a fourth in the boob? I hit a fourth in the boob. Look at all my boobs. Dredge this loam. All right. Well, if we don't die next turn, our opponent should be thoroughly dead. If we don't die next turn, our opponent is thoroughly dead. With more zombies, okay? How do, how do we beat things with more zombies? More zombies is always the answer. And this conflagrate. The conflagrate's gonna go a long way. The conflagrate's gonna go a long way. Discard my boobs. Your move, Yuki boy. They basically need to kill us this turn, right? I'm pretty sure they need to kill us this turn. I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure if we don't die, they're screwed. I guess they could scavenging use us here. Please just rag tusk me. Yeah, give it to me, baby. Give it, give it. All right, I think I'm just like making all three here, right? Pretty sure I'm making all three. My Naboobies, my Naboobies, to me Naboobies, to me Naboobies, come to me, come to me my Naboobies. I would love to dredge this. Oh uh, yeah, we had a blood gas too. It's the nut. I'd like this, this, and this. I'd like to play this. Yeah, I want, yeah, I want this blood gas back. Oh yeah, trigger them amalgams that I don't even need. Blood Crypt, shock it in, 
conflagrate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Boop, boop. And once we swoop the whoop over here, this will give, uh, this will give blood gas haste. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Got him. All right. All right. I believe that's what the kids refer to as doing it. I did only hit the token for two. That, that's why I hit the token for two, because I only needed to do two. I did one to the snake, two to their token, three to their face. I understand how Magic the Gathering works. You should, you should pay attention before you tell me how to play Magic. Take a 10 minute break. Take a 10 minute break. Uh, we are 1-0 and we are going into game three of this last match. Whipped, whipped the Nabubis out, and our opponent was paralyzed with indecision. His hand is terrible. You should mulligan pretty aggressively for the namesake. Also, just like the hand just doesn't do anything, right? Got my namesake. The stone cold tits. I do. I want to draw that. Interesting. Interesting. Do Yeah, Jundell sounds like a fine donation deck list. You should message me to confirm the details, but yeah, in general it's probably a fine donation list. I'm gonna bottom this. Yeah, no dredgers. I'm looking for a dredger, right? Hands looking for a dredger. We've got a piece of, we've got some interaction though. Or a touch interactive. I found my naboob. Got, got my naboobies, He's gonna rub rub my naboobies all over the screen. Look at look how happy he is. It's like, I found a piece of candy. We are going to Lightning Axe the crap out of this Lotus Cobra. We are going to Lightning Axe the ever-living crap out of this Lotus Cobra. And if they play a voice, we'll just fetch a Blood Crypt Tapped. You're dead, Jim. You're dead. You're dead to me. So, this is an interesting choice. The Naboob comes back for free, but the Blood Gas can't... I'm going to discard the Nabooby because I don't have a Loam going, so I kind of need, like, maximum cards here. Like, I could have a Blood Gas in play already, but, like, I just don't have extra cards to discard to this. It's going to be a Renegade Rallier. I feel a little bit bad, but like could have been much worse potentially. It smells like a renegade rallier. God, that artwork is stunning. It's quite fantastic. He's like, yo, dog, this way. Don't don't be sleeping, snake. Come this way. Alright, we're gonna discard my blood gas to mind the boob. Looking for looking for cards that dredge. Love for my Naboob to come back to my hand. Um, fun fact, little, little known fact, chat. Little known fact, Conflagrate has a mana cost. You can pay, you can tap lands and cast it from your hand. It's a little, little known fact about the card. Block. Life from the loam. Woo doggy. Woo doggy. That's just like we drew it up, chat. It's just like we drew it up. All right, all right, all right. It's 
It's another it's direct swag Detterson. Acidic slime. Well, I'm glad I kept my backup infestation in my hand. I'm glad I kept my backup infestation in my hand. Block. I'm gonna crack this fetch because I need to get a red source tapped. I'm just gonna grab the canyon slough out here. No, I might want that to cycle later. I'll grab the blood crypt. Dredge this one. We hit a bunch of land. That's excellent. Um, let's tap my lands right here. Cast you. Do I want to offer this trade? Oh, I could have put a blood gas into play here. That was a pretty big mistake. I forgot these had haste. This was this was a punt. I should have played this pre-combat. I was like, oh, I should always attack before playing my land, but I forgot to check that I had another one in there. Hmm, that's gross. Need to copy the acidic slime here. Maybe I should have used, maybe I should have used my Conflagrate a little bit more aggressively before playing this out here. We're getting pretty close to having Lethal on the backswing though, right? I think they're actually, are they dead? They might be dead. Yeah, return this to my hand, yes. Uh, dredge, Loam, hit two more Naboobs. All right, so, oh. Oh, that's annoying. So, there's only one land in my discard pile. I can fetch with this. They don't actually don't have Path to Exile up, which is valuable information for us. Yeah, GG's opponent. I'm pretty sure they're dead. I haven't, I haven't figured out how yet, but I'm pretty sure they're dead. And there. Yeah, we, we fetch, so how they're actually dead for those that are taking a second to see it, because the, the counting is, is, is not straightforward in this deck. We fetch here for a swamp, which puts a second land in our graveyard. We loam back Ghost Quarter plus this, which gives us four cards in our hand. We can flagrate and kill both of these. Well, they're actually not dead this turn, right? We'd kill these. I guess I'd probably actually kill this, kill this. And then smash them. Like, they're, they probably can't win the game anymore, but I don't think they were actually dead that turn. Oh, someone asked earlier while we were doing the league. I forgot. We conceded to red green Eldrazi because we mulliganed a bunch. So we're two and one now. We are two and one. This deck's sweet. It was sweet the first time we played it, too. If you want to see more leagues with this deck after this one gets done today and I'm done streaming, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Ogle. There's another league with on it from earlier this year. This is, like most of the decks we play here on stream, this is a donation deck list. So a user submitted this deck list, and this is actually a second draft. So I, after we played it the first time, someone was like, hey, would you play that again? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, all right, make your changes and play it again. This is the deck list with a few of my small tweaks in it after the first league. Oh baby. Ow oh, baby. Please don't bin my don't bin my zombie infestation. Don't bin my zombie infestation. Yes! I will dredge my loam on turn one opponent. I would like I would like to dredge my loam. God, if we dredge into a blood ghast here, we actually get to get five power on turn one. Come on! Come on, Bloodgast! Come on, Bloodgast! Damn it, we're so unlucky. Just, just the unluckiest. Just the unluckiest. So, I let them put a Bloodgast in their bin by Ravens criming them there, but I think that's still correct to do because with their goblin lootings, their their burning inquiries and their and their goblin whatevers, they need cards in their hand that they want to discard in order to keep better cards statistically. 
to set the bar low, yes, this is probably the best zombie infestation deck in the format. For just just to be clear, that's an exceedingly low bar to clear. But I think this deck is reasonable and moderately competitive. Discarded fish. They continue to brick here. This is one of the reasons why, again, we were talking about this deck earlier, because we played against it earlier, that I find the opponent's deck like so um, erroneous or obnoxious or whatever you want to call it, because like I genuinely feel like whenever I play against this deck, I only beat the opponent's deck when it just doesn't do what it's intended to do. Like I don't actually beat their deck, it beats itself, which doesn't lead to a lot of particularly interesting gameplay scenarios and situations. Is it the best Squee Goblin to boop deck? That's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah, I'll be I'll be at Milwaukee with wings on. I'll be there with feathers on. It's like be there with bells on, but funnier, right? Sure, they have a lot of non-variance elements in their deck too, and like all magic has some variance in it. Well, well, this is not this is not gonna work out well for them. Let's discard these. And then so I'm gonna put a bunch of dredge cards in my graveyard here in response to this, and I'm gonna dredge a bunch of cards here in a second. So we're gonna we're gonna dredge through a lot of my deck here. Thank you for the draw three. Good, good, good card to cast. Deal. Thank you, thank you very much. Do we only hit one squee in there? I'm gonna should take this hit for two. I think that's fine. Did I hit I hit a con flag in there? That's pretty decent. I would like Naboob to come back to my hand. And I was gonna dredge another loam, right? Hit another blood ghast. Because got look. Most decks people play in modern are worse versions of other things. Let's just let's just be upfront and honest with ourselves. Most decks people play in modern are worse versions of other things. I'm gonna grab Blood Crypt, Forest, and Mountain here. And then I think I actually want to Raven's Crime them because again, the opponent's deck does need a pretty critical mass of cards. So like, I just need to like not die for a turn here or two. And then like we have Lingering Souls in our bin to block with as well here. I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, that sequencing was bad. Now they can trade with a zombie token if they want, which I'm okay with that. Yeah, deal. I wasn't gonna be able to block this in the backswing anyways. I don't know what the text box on the new squee is, so I can't tell you. Couldn't couldn't give you a real opinion because I can't tell you what that card does. I have a dredge card here. That's fine. I hit my start finish in here, right? Yeah, we... Nope, that's Stinkweed. Yeah, we did. Yeah! Finish him! Are you dead? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, our opponent is dead. Nope. Wait, I'm a liar. I have to sacrifice a thing. So I need to hit... I need to hit another Blood Gas to kill them here. So if we hit a Blood Gas in however many cards, we, we should be fine. Uh, 
Oh, no, probably not then. No, that sounds pretty terrible. That's much worse than the, the Eldrazi we could play that does like the same thing, right? Yeah, you don't need... We have plenty of things like... Watch these games that we're playing. Like, we have plenty of things to spend our mana on. All right, so what am I doing here? If I dredge... I want to just dredge Stinkweed Imp, I think. Because if I hit a Blood Guest here, I have Lethal. Because Finish needs to sacrifice a creature. Oh, you're right. It is just from Exile. You're correct. It is just from Exile. You are 110% correct. So I am going to dredge... No, wait, if I dredge Loam, are they just dead? Loam's probably lethal, right? They block three, they take eight, and then I kill them. I dredge up to four. Yeah, yeah, Loam, Loam is guaranteed lethal. So, I go dredge, pick up three of these. Because this, this can't block. So you take eight down to three, and then we can flagrate them. Yep. I understand what targeting is going on. All right, so we did this a second ago. We're gonna bring in a, we're gonna bring in lightning axes, ancient grudges, cut raven's crime, cut dark blast. Start finish is probably, it was okay there, but I think it's a little clunky on average. Mm, I'm gonna trim a squee, I think. The grudges are, maybe I don't need all the grudges. Well, I guess I can just like loot or infestation past them if I don't need them. And when I do need them, they're very, very good. So yeah, yeah, let's do this. I think I boarded out a conflagrate last time and conflagrate's pretty good. I'm not a fan of Pharaoh in these matches because I don't intend for my opponent's large things to be hitting me. Streaming me is never a good idea. I think it's correct here. Just like... I'm not gonna have time to cast Mr. Naboob and... Yeah, Pharaoh is bad against. The the Vengeful Pharaoh is mostly in the sideboard for um, Tarmogoyfs and, and uh, Eldrazi, cards like that. No, Loam is very good. Loam is, Loam is the card that makes the deck tick. I want... I want my loams. Seems okay. It doesn't have a zombie infestation in it, but it's got some interaction. It's got lingering souls. It's got a loam. Is this good enough? I'm gonna keep this. So Squee only enables our engine if we have an infestation in play. If we don't have an infestation in play, it doesn't do a whole lot. Cut loams and infestations? Are you crazy? Never, never cut the infestations, chat. Don't do it. It's a, it's a trap. Don't, don't cut the infestations. I am not certain of many things regarding this deck. I am very certain of don't cut the infestations. Fetching a blood crypt here. Oh, God, God bless Punisher. I was like, I thought you were sharper than that. Yes. This is a tough nut to crack. I might have conflagged for zero. Maybe. I don't know that I wanted the shock to conflag for zero there. I don't know that I wanted to do that necessarily. Maybe that was worthwhile. Maybe I'm just supposed to mulligan more aggressively for my zombie infestation. I 
The deck list is on your screen. If you're on mobile, type exclamation point deck list in chat and you'll be able to get a link to the deck list. If you have specific questions for why we're playing the cards we're playing, I am happy to answer them, but just like what cards are we playing? Please, please be an adult and help yourself and find that information. I definitely agree with the sentiment from chat that I probably should have conflict for zero on, on turn one. What's going on according to Ben? That's a big angry hollowed one. All right, so I'm not casting Loam this turn anyways. Take a 10 minute timeout for not being constructive. This is a Delve threat, I'm just gonna concede. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack it in, we're pretty dead here. I think I should have mulliganed that hand. Lingering Souls doesn't do enough. Oh, I guess we're, guess we're keeping them. The scene doesn't really accomplish anything. The scene gets a scry. It's pretty good with a scry, honestly. If I win with Owling Mine, it's great. Cause it's like I cashed the tournament twice since I already cashed it with donations. And if I don't win with Ollie Mine, I get to explore Milwaukee with my wife. So that sounds great. Except for the fact that apparently it's supposed to snow there this weekend. Ding, fries are done. Boom, 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 boom. No, I don't really follow spoilers. I'm like the Grinch who hated spoiler season. I'm really, I'm really not, I'm really not a big fan of spoiler season. Like spoiler season just feels like a giant waste of time to me. Like you can't really do anything useful with the information you get during spoiler season, especially with regards to like constructed because like you need a full picture right like if you sit there and work on deck ideas with partial information and then they spoil a new card that like makes a bunch of your work irrelevant you just like wasted a bunch of time right so i as a fan as as a as someone who generally tries to work hard smarter and not harder I subbed with Prime. That does mean you can submit a donation deck list for the queue. Prime, Prime subs are identical to normal $5 subscriptions in every single way to me. Ooh. Have, have we not learned our lesson, opponent? Why is this card in their deck still? What? I... Yes. Deal. Resolves. I mean, I guess they got rid of my lightning axes. I guess... Sure. Uh, I'm gonna bin these, get another zombie here. And it's the Faith of Swooning's like, okay, but like, I don't really need it, right? Get back, um, fetch land, canyon, slough, mountain. I'm actually just going to play a fetch land here. I guess I can just put the canyon slow into play tap too. I'm probably not going to have time to cycle this, right? Probably not going to have time to cycle that.
yeah, the details on how donation decks work is in that link there, Sinbred. So give that give that a read. I could maybe have left a zombie back to not take this hit here. Yeah, I guess in conjunction with this Flame Wake Phoenix. Oh, they're not bringing... They have a Delve Threat they're going to cast here. I guess the Burning Inquiry might end up winning them this game, huh? In some places around the world, you can collect bits by watching advertisements. I know my wife does that occasionally. Grim Lava Mancer. All right, here's hoping we dredge into a conflagrate here. If we dredge into a conflag, we probably can't lose. I guess I can flash back this Faithless Looting. I kind of want to do that. I guess it means less zombies, though. I was making another zombie that turn, chat. So I, I could have left one back and then made a zombie and double blocked. For those that weren't weren't following my thought process there. So I could flashback Faithless Looting. Or I can cast this life from the loam and then just make two more zombies. It's probably just better to keep making two twos, right? Like I'm smacking them down to four here. Red Black Hollowed One is very popular because it's a very good deck. It's a very good deck. It's very powerful. Logan Nettles um, wrote a summary up of the best performing decks from the Mox, uh, the Mox Monthly this past weekend. And the Hollowed One deck had the best win percentage. It was the most popular deck and had the best win percentage, I believe. Do I want to play a land here? I probably do. And then I can get my hand to just totally empty next turn. Yeah. I'm just going to play this Godless Shrine Tapped. Pass the turn here. I'll make two Zombies. And then our opponent will actually just be dead if we dredge into Conflagrate next turn, right? Because our or the Naboob is going to come back to our hand, and then um, we'll get to loam back to land, and then Conflagrate will deal exactly floor. Would you exactly for? Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, Qual. Thank you for pointing that out. That hopefully won't matter because I have zombies to attack. But yeah, I actually can't conflag for four and make two zombies because the lands I currently have in play don't cast Conflagrate and Loam. Whoops. It's a pretty big mistake, actually. It's a pretty big mistake. They're not bringing these back, right? Because they want a Grim Level Mancer this turn. Yeah. So we're at least making one here. So what happens if I don't dredge into Conflagrate? If I smash with everything, if I make another zombie and I smash with everything, they'd go block, 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 shoot. This would die, this would die. They'd have eight power on the backswing and I could die. But I don't have to ship with everything. Yeah, I'm just going to make these and then hopefully we hit a, uh, hit a Conflagrate. I think Conflagrate's still going to be pretty lethal here. My boobs comes my boob comes back. Dredge the slum. We hit the conflagrate. Okay, so hitting the conflagrate should be lethal. I have to go ahead and cast this and get back mountain, forest, this. And then I can conflagrate, deal 2-1. GG's opponent. Opponent said GG's. Probably saw the conflagrate and realized what was happening. Alright, sweet. We're three and one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. If you're new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time uh, meme content producer, whatever you want to call it, TCG player, here on Twitch. 
Um, if you're enjoying the content and you want to help me make more of this content, uh, please consider subscribing on Twitch. It costs four nine a month or more. Or if you have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe every single month for free to a content creator of your choice. Uh, my subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. Would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, coolstuffinc.com. Buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu Gi Oh cards with them. Uh, inkedgaming.com. Would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironics and you. And I actually like to remind you at the very least, make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything and it lets you know when I go live and with what. I always try to put the names of the decks that I'm playing on a given date in the stream title so you kind of get a heads up when I go live if you have notifications on on what, uh, what we're going to be playing that day. If you can't catch me when I'm live, be sure to check out my YouTube channel as well, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland. I archive all of my videos there and I break them up uh, by, by deck so you can catch just the ones that you care about. Seems pretty good. Faithful Studying is great. Someone asked, would you play Scred Red in general? I never say yes or no without seeing a deck list, but a fairly stock Scred list is something that I would be interested in playing. Yeah, that's fine. Most most reasonable archetypes are, are more than acceptable here. We need to discard my Nabubi plus my prized amalgam. We were a professional magician and drew the zombie infestation that our deck is named after, so we're just looking for a life from the limb at this point. Is this lantern control? Oh, it's probably eggs, right? It's probably eggs. This matchup, mm, I have no idea how this matchup is, so I'm not going to speculate. Actually, act, just ge genuinely have no idea how this matchup is. So let's not, gosh, just, sometimes, sometimes everything comes up Millhouse chat. Sometimes you're looking around and you're like, you know what this hand needs? That, that's exactly what this hand needs. All right, now let's, let's dredge into a blood gas next turn. Let's keep, let's keep the good bits, good beats rolling. Our opponent's probably going to combo kill us on their fourth turn because that's how life goes, but it is what it is. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about the hyper geometric, hyper geometric distribution calculator? My Naboob comes back to my hand. We're doing incredibly fair grindy things, but our opponent's probably just gonna mercilessly combo kill us here. We missed on drawing a, what's it called there? A blood gas, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a red black land. Yeah, red black, whatever. Dredge the slum, dredge the stinkweed imp, discard my nabubi, discard the stinkweed imp. All right, they're going for it here, chat. I'm gonna... <sighs> I might just, tr I might just be inefficient or like technically incorrect. And like, if they play Crocklon Ironworks here, which they always have it, I'm just gonna go ahead and discard these two cards. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just hit my auto pass key here. So like, you know, do, do your worst. I assume we're dead. Do I have tools in this sideboard for this matchup? We've got two copies of Raven's Crime. We've got some ancient grudges. Non-zero amount of tools. They have a scrap trawler. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede for posterity's sake. I don't feel like sitting here. If I wanted this someone to vast if I wanted to watch someone masturbate vigorously on my computer screen, I'd open Pornhub. So nah, just nope right out of nope right out of that situation. Is abrupt decay good? Why is abrupt decay good? We, I would, I would like the record to reflect. I understand that I wasn't deterministically dead there. I understand I was very likely dead though. And for the sake of myself plus everybody watching, I, uh, I'm just not gonna, not gonna sit through that. Conflagrate's good for a little bit of reach. The grudges are fine. Raven's Crime's good. Decay is okay. I think Decay's better than Engineered Explosives. I don't think I want these other cards that are up here.
Just again, for the record, if you want to give yourself every percentage points, you can and should make your opponent like click through their combo there. But uh, I value I value my time higher than that. Plus, we're already 3-2 in this league, or 3-1 in this league, so every deck's a 3-2 deck. We 3-1. That's uh, we 3-2. It's about about par for the course, to be expected. Honestly, I should just only play friendly leagues because all we do is 3-2 anyways. It's the same exact same exact prizes with a little bit less risk involved. Our next deck is definitely a friendly league deck because Niall Spellbomb. All right, I'm done. I'm done. No. No desire to play against Graveyard Hate. All right, so. Loam Dredge Stuff. Um, I don't know. I like this deck. It's sweet. Um, the Zombie Infestation Loam Engine is interesting. Um, I know this is going to sound funny after I just conceded to them showing us Nihil Spellbomb there, but I actually think this deck... So people ask, like, what... What, what, why would you play this deck over traditional dredge? I think this deck is probably marginally better against traditional graveyard hate than dredges, just because, like, you can actually play a lot of your cards, and zombie infestation, like, puts things on the board without directly using your graveyard as a resource. Um, that being said, graveyard hate out of a combo deck, we're probably not going to be able to play through their graveyard hate and beat their combo kill. Um, I don't know if I have specific feedback on things i would change we played against hollowed one twice which is just probably a pretty good matchup for this deck between ancient grudge and lightning axes and just like a pseudo quick clock and the ability to grind a little bit i think if we find our zombie infestations against hollowed one we're probably a pretty strong favorite to win that match i think driven to despair is fine if you're interested in hedging against combo and control decks that's that's probably fine. I don't know. Like, the first... You could, like, look back at that match we just played, though, and, like, look at it and see we never had a window to, to, to use Driven to Despair. So, if you're looking for a, a grindy mid-range deck in Modern that kind of has kind of an unfair tilt that puts it ahead in the other mid-range matchups, I think this deck is... This deck is fine. It's certainly not tier one, but I think it's definitely definitely competitive, and it's kind of fun to play. Make, get to make a lot of little choices. You have to think about, like, okay, what are my odds here? Like, how am I, am I drawing to my out? Am I dredging to my out? Am I dredging with low? Am I dredging with Stinkweed Imp, et cetera, et cetera?